Hey everyone, I'm in the process of installing cutlass headers on the E46 and I figured I'd make a small video explaining my process of uh, uh, reinstalling the exhaust studs and the uh, nuts uh, just because it was a little bit of a pain for me. I had all of them but two come out of the block and uh, so I had to get them cleaned up, uh, clean the threads up completely, same with the nuts and then I'm putting them back in. And uh, I'm just going to show you kind of the best way I found to do it. Um, as you can see, I do have the front end off the car. Um, I have that off for another reason, but this job, having that off has made this job quite a bit easier. Um, it only takes about 45 minutes, if that, to even pull off the front end. So, I mean, it's up to you if you want to do that. Um, you can see how it works with that still being there, but I do recommend pulling out all the other stuff that was here, like the wash bottle and stuff. So let me get the uh, camera situated down there and I'll uh, show you my process. All right, so down here, you can see my last exhaust hole, uh, stud hole there. Um, so my process is I will first tighten on the, uh, the first nut as far as I can by hand onto the stud. Um, I then find the hole, which is right there, start to turn it in by hand. Well, once my hand's out of there, you'll be able to see, just get that started. There you go. It's pretty tight there. And then I will take my ratchet with the 11 millimeter socket. Most of this you can do with uh, just quarter inch and a long socket. And start turning it like that. Now, I'll usually take my finger, as you see, I'll take my other finger and put it down just right down here so I can kind of feel the, uh, sorry, I'm blocking the light there. Just down here so I can kind of feel the threads and if they're moving or if it's just the nut moving. So that's what I'll do for the first little bit until I start to feel the nut moving. So let me go through that. So I can actually see just from up here, I didn't need to use my finger there, but sometimes you do that. It's just the nut moving at this point. So sometimes you'll get pretty far with just the single nut. Sometimes it won't go that far. Then I grab my second nut right here and put it on and then start to tighten it like that um i haven't jammed the nuts fully together yet because this is usually enough friction to allow it to start going um so i can still see the threads are turning in Still going, this one's actually going quite a while before I have to jam the nuts fully together. I can actually already feel the stud starting to bottom out in the head, but just to be sure, I'll then take an open end of a wrench, put it on the back nut, Sorry, I'm blocking the light a little bit. Tighten them together. And then continue just a little bit more just to make sure it's fully bottomed out. Yeah, almost there now. Yeah, we're there. And then just go loose and same thing, open end onto the nut the rear nut and then push in option opposite directions and comes off now you just have to spin your nuts back off most of the time they'll come off by hand sometimes you gotta use the ratchet again like on that one i'm gonna have to use the ratchet again and if you do have to use the ratchet just be a bit careful feel the threads and make sure they they don't move out of the head but you should be good as long as you've bottomed out that was uh, that stud in the head. And there we go. All right, yeah, as I was saying, uh, sometimes you gotta jam them together sooner and sometimes just the single nut pulls it down a lot quicker than it did there, but 
there you go. Uh, that's my process. And now that I've got all those on, I'm going to get the new gaskets and the headers in there and go from there. Thanks for watching.